Well, guys, the tour is back in the States for the American Express at the PGA uh, West in La Quinta, California. I'm Brett, and as always, I'm joined with my best bud here, uh, Nate, the founder of Minnesota Left Handers. And we're here today to get you as much information as we possibly can about this week's event in a short, quick episode. Nate, why don't you do what you do and uh, tell us all about the course? Absolutely. I'm going to start with some vocabulary. Spiteful, <laughs> hateful, artificial, awful, silly. These were all words that were used to describe this PGA West Stadium course when it first opened when, and, and, held, and held its first event in 1987. Um, Pete Dye designed it. It was uh, the, the 1987 Bob Hope Chrysler Classic, actually. Uh, and he was tasked with designing a hard course by the, I believe it was Dean Beam in the, the commission of PJ Tour. They called him in to do that. He did it. And the, the players just thought it was all of those things. Um, at the time, it was the hardest course in the United States, PJ West Stadium course. So, um, you know, it, it, it's going to look a little different now. The game of golf has, has definitely changed. Um, but at the time, it was definitely given that title. It's funny that this week came at this time because I was actually just reading a book titled Bury Me in a Pot Bunker, written by Pete Dye himself, where he kind of talks about all of his courses. Um, if you'll indulge me for a second here, it was loaned to me by Hunter Hoagland, who uh, we interview. We're not just a preview, a tournament preview pod. We've got a couple, well, an interview in our past, working on a few more here always. But um, you can find that interview. If you hang on to the end of this episode, I'll put it like on an end screen. Um, so listeners can, can find it there. Um, in this episode, we are going to preview the course, the players, a little bit of history. Um, and if you like what you see, throw us a like, follow, hit subscribe, comment. You know, we'd love to connect with with anyone out there who's got something to say about what we're talking about and, and you know, past, past events, what you think about this event. So looking forward to it. Uh, this event in particular has changed sponsors a few times. It is now the American Express Championship. It got that sponsor in 2020. Um, it's a bit of a unique tournament because it'll play it'll be played over three courses not just the stadium course we've got the la quinta country club we've got the nicholas course and then obviously the, the stadium course we're rotating through those three um and then on sunday all of the 65 top players like your best players in the tournament who make the cut play the stadium course again um what makes this unique too is that it's not just like a wednesday pro-am it's just like the Pebble Beach program where we've seen like Bill Murray and you know some of those kind of names who show up there George Lopez um amateurs can can buy their way into this event as well starting uh, as recently as just a couple of years ago I actually just looked it up the the article that I read said if you got 30 grand you can buy your way into this pro-am which is kind of neat you know I think that's kind of a cool way <laughs> if we'll you got the someday. money go for we'll it. get there someday yeah, eventually, one of these days. Um, the course itself, we'll talk about, about the PJ West first. It is the longest of the courses that are, that'll be played in this tournament uh, at 7,187 yards, par 72. La Quinta Country Club, 7,060 yards, par 72. And then the, the Nicholas course, 7,147 yards. So really not terribly long one of the things we noted with last week's episode was that the sony was one of the shortest on tour the the yli country club which was only 7044 yards so it's like 100 yards longer so it's not super super long um other other things of note if you or i want to go play this course which we can do it's it's out there for the for public play 200 to 300 bucks doesn't seem you know too outlandish considering the golf landscape at this point and it is one of the most beautiful courses i've ever seen we were talking a little bit off scene here but i mean we're talking a little bit of phoenix uh golf a little bit of florida golf and a little bit of um uh, california so it's like got or the like the mountains it's just it's just kind of cool yeah i mean it's very pleasing to the eye definitely i 
I want to get there. I think it's um, I think it's a cool place. The resort itself has nine courses. Four are like resort courses and, and four are private. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning here, it's designed by Pete Dye. Other Pete Dye courses that, that you might have heard of, TPC Sawgrass, uh, Whistling Straits, Harbor Town. Um, he designed over 100 uh, and renovated and, and all of that. I mean, he was he's part of that whole golden age of architecture. I mean, he's a huge name in, in golf architecture. So people know his name, know his work. Um, interestingly, his wife was was kind of big, was an important partner in his development uh, of of his courses. She actually was a better golfer than him and um, kind of kept him in check because he was known for like the stadium course, like being super, super hard. She was like, how are my friends going to play this? <laughs> like, you got to make this playable. So she kind of kept him in check. But that's kind of what we can expect with uh, the the stadium course. Some uniqueness about the stadium course, the 16th hole has a greenside bunker. How many feet deep does seems like a deep bunker to you? <laughs> you <want> my... <laughs> Four feet. <laughs> Anything this I can't bunker... putt out of. <laughs> <laughs> this bunker, you can't putt out of. It's 19 feet oh deep. Like imagine, like you can't find a photo of that and do it justice. Like, I can't imagine it's one of those deals where you can even see the flag out the top. Uh, it was 19 feet deep for this reason. Um, Pete Dye was was asked, uh, how, you know, how deep do you want this bunker to be, you know, by, by the construction crew? Um, he went out, hit a bunker shot, and 19 feet was like as high as he could get a shot out of the bunker. So that's how deep they dug it. <laughs> it's a crazy, crazy deep. Um, the island green on hole 17. I'm just reading this here, but it's known as Alcatraz. Yes, I forgot about that, um, which is just awesome. He's known for a whole 17 island greens, I guess, because he also has got the one out in Florida at Sawgrass. That's, I mean, I love that. I mean, if you were, if you walked up to that, would you be able to hit the green, or are you, are you dunking it in the water? so intimidating, I mean, for me. You know, I'd probably be aiming for that bunker and put it on the green, honestly. And just hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Absolutely. All right. So quick game here. Which of these country club sounding names won the PGA or the, the American Express last year? I'm going to give you two names. One's a live guy. One won this tournament last year. You've got Hudson Swafford or Wyndham Clark. Who won it last year? Well, S Swafford. Hudson Swafford is your winner last year. L listen to those two names. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> they were born at the country club. <laughs> they were born with membership cards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, feels like a good transition into the players in the field. Yes, what do you yes. got for us? So, a hundred, you, as you mentioned, there's 156, which is a little bit more than typical just because it's the the pro-am thing so you get a few more amateurs that are going to be playing in this one you know as always just gonna as not as always but there's going to be some cuts but big names uh you talked about some of the guys you know top top three guys here from last year hudson hudson uh swafford tim tim hoagie hoagie <laughs> tim hodge our guy minnesota guy <laughs> brian Harmon, um lefty lefty so 23 under, 21 under, 20 under. Let's take a look at who's going to be playing this time around. So big, big names, which makes this a little bit more exciting. And we were talking a little bit about this too. This is apparently the 12th PGA event of the season so far. So the season started back in September, but in my eyes, the season kind of starts as the century. So this is the third event of the year. So I, I don't know. It's just... It's just kind of confusing. So, yeah. start starting off with Scotty Scheffler, John Rahm, Xander Shoffley, who I'm excited to see more golfing by is uh, Will Zelatoris, some more pa Patrick Cantlay. If Tony Finau is going to be back, um, not so excited about Sam Burns, but Tom Kim, see what he's doing again. Um, Cameron Young, 
just some some of the bigger names that are going to be there. Power rankings have not come out yet. We're uh, we're filming this Monday night for a release on uh, Tuesday morning, but power rankings haven't come out yet. But I gotta think John Rahm, uh, Scotty Scheffler, Xander Shoffley are going to be towards the top, probably with maybe Tom Kim. But what are your what are your what are your thoughts? I'm going to argue for Will Zalatoris, your guy. Um, I love it, but he's just, he hasn't golfed as much. No, he hasn't played, you know, obviously with that injury. Uh, he just got clearance to start practicing in December, but he top 10 tier last year. And the guy shows up in majors and he got, and he broke through. What was that? September. We've talked about it in the past, October, maybe where he mm-hmm. beat Sepstraka in that playoff. A wild uh, I playoff just think at that. Yeah, no kidding. I just think with his history here and the fact that he's not even the same guy he was at this point last year, as far as experience and maturity and just ability to handle the moment, well, I don't know. I I think that he's got a shot to, to win this thing. I, he's he's up. He's got to be up there in the power rankings. You know, if you're looking at the um, Vegas odds and stuff like that, I, I'd say he's he's up there, but. I'm I'm still gotta stick with. Yeah, John Rahm had such a good showing at that uh, in or uh, not Honolulu, but at, in Hawaii at the uh, Century. So, and Scotty Scheffler, he's got to be picking up some some steam here. This uh, this this event's worth 500 FedEx points. It's not an elevated event, but um, still, I mean, 500 FedEx points. That's kind of what what everything's worth right now. It's either 500, 550, or uh, or 600 i think yeah. for a major yeah yep. so um, three in addition courses. go ahead oh sorry i was just gonna add one more thing to kind of the since we're talking about nuts and bolts it is up four hundred thousand dollars the total purse it was 7.6 mil last year i believe it is eight flat eight million dollars this year winner winner share is 1.4 so i mean as much as we're seeing obviously this new sort of format with the elevated events, even the non elevated events are seeing a bump too, which is uh, cool. So they, they do have some uh, power rankings here. So John Rahm, Scotty Scheffler, Patrick Cantley, Tony Finau, Will Zolotaris. So with three wins, is that five guys you named. Uh, yep. Five guys. Okay. Um, John Rahm with three wins tied a tied for a second and a tied for four. Fourth in his last five official starts worldwide. He's default number one here. Um, he's a former champion at PGA West in 2018. Okay. Uh, Scotty okay. Scheffler. He's comfortable there too. Um, he courted a uh, title defense are on the horizon, but is neither a bridge nor a primer for all of that. He finished third in 2020 and 25th and 2022 rested at 7th at Kapalua You're, so our boy mm-hmm. our boy uh, Will Zolotoris uh, ended his uh, injury sabbatical um, with a 11th at Kapalua um, he was sub 70 of every round open last year with a tied 6 in his debut at the American Express so coming back for his debut um, at the American Express. So that'd be kind of cool if he won it. Sure. Absolutely. Um, I want to say the last like five or six winning scores have been 23, 22, 21, like way under par. And so we are, we're still sort of in, in birdie fest mode here. We're not hitting those courses that are going to be, you know, eight under for, for a winning score yet. And plus, you get to the desert, and these guys can just tear it up. They're, they're, everything is so soft, and they can, they're just hitting the ball so far that you got to go out here and you have to make birdies. It's going to be it's gonna be another week like that. This whole West Coast swing is kind of that way. I want to say we go from the PJ West or this event here, the, the American express two farmers in San Diego, Torrey Pines out to Phoenix and then back to Pebble beach. So there's, you know, four weeks in a row there where they're, they're in sort of that West coast desert 
not so much peach or um the two on the coast aren't so much desert style but this one and, and phoenix for sure and so they got to come out and they got to be they got to be firing to that point i definitely see a john rom argument for a number one power ranking yeah it's especially with how hot he's been you know coming off uh the century and and uh taking taking a break um for the last two events and now he's back so this is he's 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 fresh ready to go absolutely um i don't know that i have a ton more maybe just a a wrap with the forecast do you have that out yep i got the forecast here so uh, as always it starts um on thursday and goes through sunday so um, we're starting out Thursday with uh, 58, a high of 58. That's not that great. <laughs> it's a, it's a mean, little cold. Um, we take it. Yeah. <laughs> As we sit here in Minnesota, it's like snowing, sleeting. Uh, high of 58, uh, Friday high of 59, Saturday high of 64, Sunday high of 62. And this is the weather we're going to be looking at for our golf, uh, golf outing in uh, Arizona. All sunny, a little partly cloudy mm-hmm. on Thursday, so not looking too bad. Course conditions should be fair. I mean, this this is pretty comfortable weather for me to golf in, anyways. Yeah, I, I would imagine that that it's conducive to low scores again. Um, it's a it's a place I want to be. I wanna I want to check out. So, with that, I think enjoy the golf, enjoy the enjoy the weekend, the the sunny weather, the everything they have everything we have nothing yes like (laughs) subscribe throw some comments in there tell us what we could do better what uh what you're liking about our podcast here um just try and give you a preview every week and uh shift what we're doing here so let us know how we're doing in the comments below like subscribe and uh we'll see you guys next week